So who is your target right now? Chatting with Tierra. For right now, my target is men and women. And it's usually just men and women who are interested in mental health. Same as physical health. So like I said, it's just, it's all over the place. On some platforms, like my Facebook, I noticed that I have a lot of older women and men that's, you know, tuned in. And on my uh, Instagram, I noticed that I have a lot of men that's tuned in. So that's what I was saying. Like, I want to, I need to get that target. You know, I want to hit that target collectively because it's really, it all depends. You know, sometimes I got the younger uh, crowd that's interested in mental health. Then most of the time I have men that's like, okay, well, don't forget about us. So that's why I came out with that anger management book to kind of like target those, uh, that population, because I don't want to leave out men. At first, it was just mostly women. So like I said, um, my ideal target would be younger, the younger crowd. Okay. Young, can you define younger? Like you talking about high school, what's younger? Teenage, yes. Teenage, ages, teenage, uh, from 18 to 30. Okay. 35 18 to 35 um so like let me ask you this who has who's already supported you the most though um i think men men and women older men and women um around my age that's why i say it's, it, it varies it's just it's all over the place like really everybody honestly I just think it's more of like a broad field that I'm in. So it's kind of like talking about um, staying in shape. You know, you don't have younger people, you don't have older people. It all, for real, it's just people, like I said, that's just interested in mental health. Yeah. So it's not really like an age range. It's more so of those people who are trying to get in tune to what's going on psychologically with them or someone that's trying to hear that positive uplift, uplifting messages. So that, that's really the target. Just people that want to hear uplifting messages and people who are interested in mental health. Okay. You know, and I, I ask that because like, okay, the rules in marketing is like, you should have a target right i know but when i so what i mean by that and usually what it means is that's what we're spending our money you know so when we, when we say i have a target audience all i'm trying to say is that's where all my marketing budget is going toward to to reach this specific group of course in right. in, in business in general we want anybody to be our customer you know right but when it comes to where you're spending your money the most and your brand and that's what that's when that target audience comes in handy you know because then you know whether or not you you have to do a natural hairstyle or a frontal like all based on who that audience is right you know what i mean so that's why i ask these kind of questions like so then i ask the question like who's already supporting you because sometimes we are we, we could complicate it and in, in context like but if you already have if it's men just in general, if it's men in their 40s who's who already keeps your business open, it's something to that, you know, like pay attention right. to who's already keeping the business open and maybe build upon it, you know, so I, that's why I'm right. asking. Right. right. But so like you don't want to just focus on men, though. You want to, you said, so your, your passion would be the teenagers to... Really? Yeah. It would be for teens, just young adults, people around my age range. And to kind of like just help them get a grasp of reality, get a grasp of just who they are as a person and not just focus so much more on things that don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of people that's struggling right now with their identity. So, I mean, even as older adults, you can struggle in that, that area, but I feel like who needs it? is a different story from who's supporting it, okay. if that makes sense. So if I could come up with a way to um, make the content and make the messages that I'm putting out there relatable for young adults and also older adults, then that would be great. Okay, so... 
I'm just I'm writing notes. While I'm, <laughs> I'm listening to you. That's good. Because um, I know you've been following me for a minute, and I'm like, I I've been meaning to do a um conversation with you. Yeah. I've so like, I think I mean you have a hot topic. You know, right now mm -hmm. this this is a very hot topic. So, um, now we say you're trying to come out with a TV show. Where where's you want to pitch it to like stations? Like where where you want it to to be the show exactly? Well, I already have a platform right now. It's coming out. It's called Cluster. I know you you were working with Tim and them from uh, You Married That. So he's coming out with a platform, it's, it's called Cluster. And originally we were supposed to do this last, like two years ago when COVID first came out. So it just gave me enough time. Like I said, I just want to build that audience and build up my credibility right now. So um, even if it just start on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Just a smaller platform for right now and then build it on up. Like I said, I could do um, a virtual show. Like, uh, have you seen the girl Kendra, how she does her virtual show and she does like the uh, dating, I mean, not the dating, I think it's just about match matchmaking or something like that. I think and she so. does like interview. Yeah, she does interviews. They come on her show. She go live and they come on uh -huh. and she does the interviews. Right. I so I was same. thinking like, that's pretty cool, you know, just to have people come on here and do like an open therapy session. Mm. You know what I mean? And it'll be based off of like me interviewing a person and they may want to come on and share their story and through they sh their story they're able to touch people that's viewing you know by using their testimony so I'm like that'll be pretty cool and then once that audience I grow that fan base and those on that audience then we can go to a bigger scale like you know an actual television platform yeah so a live therapy session yep so okay. that's what I came up with. Let me get, hold on, where is it at? Okay, so I was thinking maybe like Therapy Thursdays with Tierra Leanne, a weekly session for four people. So it'll be a slot. I'll go live for like two or three hours. And then for each interview, I'll do four people. I mean, for that day, I could do up to, I will say probably like three, three or four, because I know conversations like that, it get lengthy. Yeah. So. Yeah, because you got to do a lot of listening first. Yeah. Yeah, so, um. Yeah, so all right, so what do you what do you need help with right now? So right now I just need um I need a lot I need help with marketing, content creating, and um just different ways that I could get paid with doing what for doing what I'm doing right now. Um, outside of just getting paid from therapy sessions. Like I, I see a lot of people that get paid from social media and stuff. And I'm just like, wow, how do they do that? So I want to let my platform grow, my business grow, my brand grow, my following grow. You know, I need help with all that. Okay. Wait, let me, uh, what's the, what's your traffic like now on your social media? It's going up. I mean, it's it's just been fluctuating right now because I'm off, I'm on, I'm off, I'm on. I kind of like to take a break sometimes from social media and not stay on so much. But when I'm on there and I'm going and I'm staying consistent, um, it last time I saw, I think it reached probably about seven seven thousand, seven thousand, and like probably my thirteen thousand impressions. Okay. So most of my followers are active and engaging. And um, far as I don't know what the impression part is about, but it's a little bit higher than the actual number for uh, views and stuff like that. Yeah. So I don't yeah. know, I'm not sure what it means when it says impressions. I can send that over to you. Though. Yeah, like it's, it's like uh, I think the impressions just means that's like we were exposed to you. Oh, you know, okay. It's like that's when people, new people were exposed to the content versus those who actually, you know, watch it to the end i think like okay let me look at the different the language of it. i haven't looked at it in a little bit so hold on i i view it all the time because i'm like what does it mean and that's what i'm saying that's exactly what i would like to work on because i know it's all about numbers now it's the numbers game so i need to get into that well I that's mean, why i've been doing like the rails and stuff too because that helps my page a lot 
Yeah, and I'm only asking that because you know mm-hmm. social media. We talk making money, right? Like it's it's at this point we're at the stage of we need to have digital real estate, and so like when I say digital real estate, your page is is digital real estate. Mm-hmm. You know, so like if you could present to different brands, hey, I have this many impressions, this is how much traffic I'm running, you mm-hmm. know, this is how many website taps I get every week or profile mm-hmm. visits, like, and, you know, to be sponsored, like how you, you like, I think you're into fashion and stuff. So where you can have clothing lines, sponsor your yeah. outfits and, you know, yeah, you, I, I think, so right, like with a following of 7,000, you are a commodity in this social media space because they call you a, a micro influencer mm-hmm. and you know you know what i'm talking about being a micro influencer mm-hmm. yeah so like that makes you a high commodity like there some businesses are moving away from the three million four million follower people and they're trying to find micro influencers because you have more impact to your audience that's what they, they're saying anyway at least they're saying you have mm-hmm. more impact than a million follower person okay so i'm saying that's good set and just be able to pitch you you could create a pitch um a pitch what, what's the word um a media kit <laughs> i'm sorry that's the word i'm looking for you create mm-hmm. a media me, you got a media kit no i no? need one okay what is that let me show you right quick. Hold up. Let me share my screen. Um, hold on. Give me a moment. Got to find it on my computer. So, um, you can see my screen? Yes. Okay. So, this is an example of a, um, a media kit. Hopefully, this don't up and left. All right. So, of course, there's a million ways to do this. Mm-hmm. But this is, I'm just pulling out one of them. You still see my screen? It's like, yes. what you see? I just see uh, maybe about five icons. I don't what you, see that. What you see? I just, I just see icons. Icons. Okay, hold up. It ain't sharing the right screen there. What'd you see now? Okay, I see a, a PowerPoint. I see you. Okay, okay. Yeah, so this is this is my um, media kit that I was send if I'm trying to pitch to a brand like, hey, this is my social media. This is um, uh, all right. So like, it's just a brief synopsis of you. Um, then I'm showing why well, it's not moving. It's like I, it's my computer lagging, so it's not moving fast like I wanted to. So, but yeah, so like this is my um. Raleigh marketing page and I'm just showing my my demographics you know mm-hmm. 57% men 42% women between the eight you know I'm just showing my numbers I get 11,000 impressions a month you know so this is just a media kit you can pitch and like hey so work with me as a brand mm-hmm. you know and I'm showing this is my photography page I'm showing the numbers from that page this is old because I think I'm at like I think I got 600 followers now on that page, but I still got a lot of impressions regardless. And I'm just showing that, like, this is the numbers. But this mm-hmm. page is the opposite on that photography page. I got 78% women on that page versus 21% men. Um, just showing the demographics. Um, that's my YouTube page. I got, like, whatever it is, 10,000 views on YouTube or whatever. So, and it, it's, that's all. You just... You can easily pitch that to a brand like or whatever your favorite brand may be or a clothing line locally or a store that you go to. Right. You know, it's so many ways to pitch it. And that's another stream of income 
where you can be charging mm -hmm. these brands whatever you want to charge them. That's, that's great. See, I was thinking about that because even with commercial wise, I was like, I would love to be in like a commercial or do like those type of gigs on the side because I, I, I can also act and stuff and I want to tap into that this year too. But okay. for the most part, I want to get this. I need to get this uh, this specific field of work. I need to get all of this, my whole brand collectively up and really rolling like that. You know, from the outside looking in, it can look like, okay, well, she got this and that going on. But when it comes to the business part, it's like I need to be more so uh, focused on that and get it all nice and tight. And then I could focus on, okay, now I want to get into this. I want to get into that. But I right now, my main focus is to, like you said, get those sponsorships, build out the media kits so, you know, people can know exactly who am I, what I have to offer, and how am I making an impact on the world, likes, following, or whatever. I'm more so the type of person where I just feel like, this is my passion. This is something that I love to do. And I don't, I don't necessarily have to get paid doing it. I could just do it freely. But on the flip side too, I don't want to admit, you know what I'm saying? I still want to secure my bag. I still want um, to leave an impression that is impactful, but is also beneficial for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. Like, I don't want to just be putting out content, just throwing it out there. It's just out sitting. I want to be able to have it organized in a way where people can really be like, okay, well, wow, when you hear Tia early here, you know exactly what it what I'm about. You know, I want it to be a household name. Okay. So then the focus is, so then you're not saying the focus is the counseling then? Is the focus is love and motivation. That's what I, that's one of my key slogans and um, my whole purpose. You know what I'm saying? Like even when I take pictures, when I used to model, I was modeling like what probably about seven years ago. I will always say like this is just for motivational purposes, and it's not just me just posting pretty pictures and all that stuff. I try to whatever I do, I try to do it with love. I try to do it with motivation. So that means to just uplift people so of course therapy and mental health is all a part of that but me being me I want to also be able to give like you said you notice I'm into fashion I like fashion you know what I'm saying like I'm into entertainment I like to talk I like to you know I want to make it more organized and for it to all come together collectively yeah okay yeah I definitely would um so if you're the brand right so then are you trying to show so i guess it's more so a lifestyle brand you're kind of trying to show like you embody you embody motivation you embody mental health you embody like so yeah so then you know that so in your brand I don't know, i'm just thinking like that sounds like your brand that becomes the focus over the um yeah, like offering the counseling service, like not saying, you know, of course, you're going to keep doing that. But like, as, right. far, as, your, as far as your social media, you know, keep it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, because that's that's more so that's just like a person where you do marketing, you know, what I'm saying marketing may not be the only thing that you're doing. But this behind that behind you right there, that's your brain. That's that's something that you that's your baby. You know what I'm saying? But I'm pretty sure you may have other work that you do outside of that. People don't have to necessarily know that, but it's a part of who you are. And if you was to tell me, I'd probably be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like if a person say, oh, I'm all about motivation, I'm all about love, I'm all about lifting people up. Then on the flip side, if you find out that they, they're a therapist or they offer certain services, it's not going to strike you by surprise. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, it's always good to have seven streams of income, so it's it's normal well, yeah I, it's a lifestyle i get what you said so now i guess it's considered a lifestyle influence yeah yeah like when you're a lifestyle brand then like say like i said you embody mental health so then it's it to me then you can attract a sponsor like a um a travel 
a travel destination because like it's all about mental health so look look at me on my trip yeah in, that's in me. Bali, you know like <laughs> I'm in Bali yeah. for my mental health or whatever like and literally be that's completely paid for or whatever by a sponsor mm -hmm. you know yeah. where that, that becomes a thing that's embodies your brand because you're a lifestyle brand so exactly. so if, so when you make your media kit I would definitely emphasize stuff like that like Mm -hmm. you know Tierra the lifestyle I like to travel. Yeah. yeah so or even if you wanted to target those kind of companies or with fashion travel um authors or other you know even other authors and stuff like that start pitching mm -hmm. I mean you can start pitching now in the dms really but of course you know if you wanted to make it look more polished you know you want to get the official media kit set up so you can just start emailing people you know mm -hmm. but that's what I'm thinking off the top of my head that's all no that's a, absolutely a great idea that's more professional and I love I love to have a person visualize exactly what's going on versus me being able to break it down yeah like I mean, you Right, like your media, like my media kit is super long. I, yours don't have to be that long. Like your media, how long is your media kit? It's like five pages or something. It's like super. Well, long. you have your, you have two brands in one, don't you? Yeah, I mean, marketing I think, and your photography. Yeah, yeah, they're like two separate, but it, it's all under the same. So you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, about yeah, the it's like, about okay. Like so, my, so essentially, what I my main business is, I'm a marketing consultant. That's that's mm -hmm. mainly what I do. You know, I'm a marketing consultant. I offer services to the, the government and small businesses or whatever. So that's the main thing I do. As a result, I mean, and what comes out of that a lot of times may be content management, brand management. I may end up doing people's brand photography um, and their video content, things like that. But essentially, marketing consultant is what the main thing I've always done. But I'm saying, so your media kit can be one page, two pages or whatever. Just get to the, get yeah. to the, yeah, get to the meat of it. Hey, this is who I am. This is what I'm offering. These are my rates to post So something. you recommend one to three pages? For you, I think, I would say two pages may be really good. You know, um, it doesn't have to be super long. Like sometimes I just don't know how to condense stuff. So my stuff end up being four or five pages but you don't I'm just saying you don't gotta be like that you can because I've seen you know Shad 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 um I don't know, I've seen his media kit it's like two pages he um he's like this he's an actor oh okay I'm not sure of his whole name Shad Santiago okay yeah yeah i know what he's talking about yeah yeah he got like five hundred thousand. I, I seen his media kit before that's why i'll say that like it's like two pages he's a singer i thought he was a singer yeah uh, i don't know if you could see oh, yeah, i have to show you yeah he's like uh he be in I movies and stuff you can see this uh mm -hmm. i don't know you can't yeah. see that you cannot see my phone i could see a red like he got on a red shirt oh, okay yeah but oh, it's no. going in and out because of your ba your banner. Right, right. I mean, I could pull it up, but I'm just saying um, it doesn't have to be long. Just, just wanted to be rich, to the point. Mm -hmm. Show, show the, you know, show the hot points. This is who you are. Introduce that brand. This is where you're going, and you know, it's kind of like an, I could take you with me on that journey type of thing. But, um, so as far as your content on social media, what you say you're just gonna do like a live counseling show. Um, yeah okay so where people just come on there and I, I feel like it would be good too because a lot of people they don't that, that and that's the question that I always get I always get people asked to be like what is therapy like how does that work you know what I'm saying and it's just like people don't understand it's so simple it's just a conversation with you being able to release the stress release the trauma release the things that's bothering you you know so it's just like I want people to see it's this simple, you know, like it, me and you could be sitting here talking and you're just, you just come up with something that happened to you last week that really bothered you. That's a therapy session. But when you put that therapist on there, oh, it's a huge stigma. 
people run from it and they just feel like they have to be crazy to just like no everybody go to therapy whether you go to a professional or not you know that's different but we all have played a therapist role or and we all have been the person that needed the therapy and have gotten it when you go to the barber shop you talk to your barber you know what i'm saying that's considered a therapy session but it's just like it's not legalized or you know it's not you don't have to have consent or all that but it's like let me show people exactly what therapy is so y'all can see that it's not nothing that's just uh, straight clinical it's a conversation more so and that's well that's at least my style of therapy I like to just do talk therapy you know and we just talk about different things different interventions that can help you perceive the situation or look at look at it from another standpoint yeah I mean, I so think let's you say should... for instance go ahead, oh, go ahead. Well, you can go ahead i was gonna say let's say for instance if you're talking to me right now and you just tell me about somebody who pissed you off so bad and you just wanted to beat her ass or whatever the case may be y'all i'm gonna listen to you i'm not gonna agree or disagree but what i could offer you is you know on one end i could say this is how that can work out and on the other end, this is how it can also work out if you look at it like this. Now, whether you take that advice, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's actually cool. It's, it's, it's so cool. And I try to make it as cool as possible. And that's why a lot of my clients, I, I've been having them for like five or six years. And I don't even like the word client. I look at them like my friends, for real, because we, we talk. Well, I listen for the most part. I don't really do too much talk. Yeah. So I just think of like... um like make sure you you're sharing that as a part of your brand you share your distinction you know because you say okay. like because you say the word therapy is such an umbrella you know um or counseling there's such an umbrella of a phrase and so i, I think you should emphasize your your distinction because like i follow like i'm always studying different things and um I love, mm -hmm. I love psychology. I love a lot of that content. So like I, I follow one guy, he's a, he's a psychiatrist and his focus is brain, like your actual brain. Um, so he do like a brain, brain scan and then he'll mm -hmm. evaluate you from like your brain scan. And then like, he's not into the giving you medication first. Like yeah. his whole approach is understanding what's going on with your brain. So anyway, like it's so many different approaches to it, like where some people or most modernized psychiatrists just give you a pill. They don't even look at your brain. So like I think it's important to share what you're, you know, as a brand. OK, what does therapy mean when Tierra says it, you know? Yeah, it has to be like I'm saying if that's your if that's what we promote on your social media. Just I, I would encourage you, even if you did a video like that's a part of your video brand and just make that clear like my style you know yes even today like I did a little something I never do like I'm on there cussing but I'm just telling the truth on how I feel like I want to do more motivational videos that people can relate to but I'm also being myself and not making it so serious because I feel like when I, I've asked a lot of people I've done um different um not campaigns but different type of questionnaires just so I can get feedback from other people. And a lot of the times, like people will tell me like, we don't want a therapist or we don't want to listen to somebody that's, you know, being so politically correct and using all these fancy words. We want someone that can break it down so, so that it's relatable. And you're talking to people like they're human beings, or like I said, like my friend, you know, like you exist. Like, okay, if you come to a person, you talk to them, in a sense, like you're a doctor, or you are uh, even like an expert. Like I don't really use that word. Like I said, I just try to not dumb dumb it down, but just make it as relatable as possible, and just be myself. Because my I feel like my authentic self is relatable. You know, like yeah, I may have the credentials, but outside of that, even if I didn't, I still would be saying the same thing. Yeah. So that makes sense. In, a, in my marketing mind, I hear that your tagline should be like friend. That should be your tagline. When you talk to mm -hmm. people in your videos, hi friend, like we emphasizing. Hi tagline, right. 
you know, like that's right. that's not that's your tagline. Make sure we always say friend or like goodbye friends or at the beginning or end of your videos or whatever. But yeah, friend. friend yeah, friend is your emphasis, mm -hmm. you know. I'm I'm not sure if anybody else is doing that, but if so, we might have to think of another word. But yeah, Megan Thee Stallion does friend. Oh, she say that? Oh, okay. Yes. See, okay, we have to think of something else. Then. A lot of people say friends. Well, yeah, I get what you're saying because, like I said, the word client that's getting kind of, you know, it can get conservative. I don't want to make people feel like they're underneath. I want us to be here. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, maybe that's some. I mean, maybe if just friend is not it, just think of something along More that line. Little that, yeah, like um, I don't know. I have to think, but it just made me think. That's why I say T early in your therapist friend. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? So maybe I could be friend. It don't, it's, it don't matter. Shoot. So you don't have it uh, trademarked. Okay, yeah. So somehow, tat you, like you, if you want to add your name to it, yeah, Tierra, the friend, the friendly therapist or something. I don't know. Just somehow make that personalization to it, you know? Mm -hmm. but um so also in terms of like not getting kind of burned out by social media I always encourage all of us to um build content in advance you know like so like for right now we in well, it's already January 7th you know um but like our February content should be done you know, like that's how mm -hmm. that's we plan like that. You know, we, we get that kind mm -hmm. of all those friend talks, you know, we record them. We have a content day and, mm -hmm. you know, just like how it is on TV or whatever, we, we record in mm -hmm. advance. So I, I just I just wanted to say that because you said you made a statement earlier, like I'm kind of on social media, I'm off, on and off. I, I, I'm the you same way. You know it's a burnout. You like yeah, it is a burnout. It is. It, it can give, you know, very overwhelming trying to keep up with it all it's either you go you got to plan in advance or you gotta give delegate delegate give that task to somebody you know yeah um that's the only two ways i could think of to, to keep us from like because we got to stay visible right yeah we, we have to stay visible we can't disappear that's the key and that's what that's why i need a, a marketing team because i feel like you could be on on me about that because like I said I'm, I'm just now becoming more of a social media person I'm getting the hang of it like the stuff that I'm doing now I'm doing that like with no effort you know what I'm saying not even really putting a lot of thought into it but now that I see the reaction and you know the support that I'm getting behind it I'm like wow I need to really be trying to, you know, put this thing together how I will really, really want it to look then since people are paying attention because like you said, visibility, when you're visible and you're saying certain things, especially you know, with mental health, a lot of people are all ears. They might not even, it's a lot of people that I get that just write me, you know, DM me. They may not want to even be um, public about it. Right. So it's like, okay, I need to be having, I need to put out this content to keep people engaged and to you know have them understand that this is really what I do and this is really what I'm passionate about so I definitely I feel like that's one of my uh, weak points is um, keeping up with the content and staying consistent yeah okay yeah I mean that's just a matter of planning it you know like I said content mm -hmm. content days you know like you have a Sunday or whatever your content day is, just have content days. I'm not sure how far in advance you want to plan, but I highly recommend content days. Like, like I listened to Country Wayne talk about how he would have 12 hour days <laughs> just filming content. Mm -hmm. And he'd have his content ready for like four months. <laughs> See, that's beautiful. That's, <laughs> that's smart right there because you don't want to have to you know wait till you get somebody to record and like that's why even today the videos that I've been doing I do them on my own I try to make it less hands-on as possible so it's just like me recording stuff because half of the time I don't really have a team to come and record or bring out cameras and all that I'm just like 
the stuff that I'm saying, I can just record that on my phone and then. Yeah. And that that's fine. Like that's that's the power, that's the power of the era we in. All you need is mm-hmm. your phone. You know, just I always recommend whatever you do, just make sure, you know, your branding is on that video. Like, don't just mm-hmm. upload it. I wouldn't re- up- upload it raw. Like, I would upload it with, you know, my name on it, with, ha- you know, something that has my branding on it. So, cause, cause when it goes viral, you know, you know how those videos go viral. We're like, who is this dude? Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. who is? Who are you? Because no one thought about when it goes viral to keep my name on it. You know, mm-hmm. put my logo, my website, something. So like that's why we we plan that stuff. Plan to go viral. <laughs> well, okay, plan to go viral. That's a good one. Plan yeah. to go viral. So that means you gotta stay ready. Right. Like we we're not because like you already see the traffic we get on accident. You know, we're not mm-hmm. even trying like I don't I don't take my social media serious at all. And it's like and and as you see these numbers and the traffic that comes out of it, and I, mm-hmm. I'm still I'm still barely posting. And I was like, okay, maybe like I, I'm like maybe one day I should take it serious. But like, and that's how it is. You right. go viral so easy, you know, with plan strategic movements. You know, but that's why I say definitely you definitely can keep using your phone. Just have good lighting. Just make sure it's branded. Put your logo on it. Something to link it back to you because. I just imagine, like, I seen Snoop Dogg post a couple people's videos, he, you know, it's, and then, then people repost Snoop Dogg's video. It's going to be viral for the next six months, you know, <laughs> just because of that. So even if you do your at name or just your logo. Right. Yeah. Anything like, like how, um, I, like on my page, when I post stuff, um, I always just at least put at Riley Marketing, if, if nothing else. Um, mm-hmm. I get what you're saying. Yeah, like just make, I'm just saying, make sure your brand is all over it. Um, or like even while I do a video, I'll make sure I put my logo at the end, something. Mm-hmm. Cause you just never know. Even when I post the Steve Harvey video, let me show you. Um, you've probably seen it, I don't know. But you can see my screen. Mm-hmm. So even when I post the Steve Harvey, I put, my, I put one of my logos at the bottom. Just, it's on my page. I'm going to make sure it's still affiliated with me in some way, form, or fashion, you know? So that's all I mean, just putting your branding on this mm-hmm. stuff. Um, like, you know, just put your logo on it. Mm-hmm. I feel that that's the key. That is the key, because you don't want to be left out. If it go viral, then it's just your face going viral and not your brand. Yeah. Yeah, you want you there. Just that's what I said. We kind of we think about all like you know. I put my name at the bottom just just to make sure nothing is. I'm I'm reposting stuff, but I'm just making sure my brand is a part of whatever it is. I don't care, even mm-hmm. if it's a picture for me. I'm not even posting a picture without some type of water. Y'all bottle. see, you always playing. You like, got. Gotta... <laughs> nah, forget this. Uh uh-uh, oh man. Me. Cause and also I've seen so many people's pages stolen and pictures reposted and stuff like it's like because it, I'm saying of course all this stuff can be removed or whatever photoshopped out. However, it just makes somebody it gives somebody more work mm-hmm. if they end up doing you know just give them more work to do if they really trying mm-hmm. to steal your info. But throw it on there somewhere. I feel you though. Yeah, that, that's that is definitely what we need. Like you cannot just be throwing stuff out there raw and uncut. Thanks. Yeah, I, I don't recommend that at all. So that's all that's what I mean. We plan it. We plan in advance. We plan the content out. We try to have it out. I would say at least if you can't do 30 days out, you know, try to do weekly, you know. Maybe your content <laughs> days is every Sunday and you got your week mapped out Monday through Saturday content or whatever. No, at least the topic of what I want to talk about. Yeah, you know, of course, stay off. Like yeah, I plan to talk about conformity, but, you know, sometimes it's hot topics. Like True. even with the uh, football player that had the milk down, you know, mm. I wanted to talk about that. 
but it, like the trends, the the hot topics come so quick that you gotta literally get on it that day that the news is you know broken. Like you have true. to get on it. Very true. Yeah, that that's something you could kind of plan somewhat plan that too like if all right say for example your planned content days were monday wednesday fridays and you leave open your tuesdays and thursdays for your random hot topics that come up whenever biden mm-hmm. decides to say something crazy or whenever you know mm-hmm. still can be a part of your plan you know mm-hmm. or if you got to switch it around you already got your friday content ready and you can switch it around with your hot topic you know it's mm-hmm. still still planning it so what's, what's your hold up with the Antonio content? I think that's his name. What's your it's hold up? over now. It, was, it wasn't a hold up. I just didn't know exactly. And that's the thing. Like, I be needing ideas and stuff. And I see the ideas that you send me, and I appreciate that. It's just sometimes I'm like, okay, what can I do? What can I? So now it's just like I, I finally, this year, this upcoming year, I've sat down. I've written out all the things that how I'm going to operate my brand, you know, how am I going to go about things? So it's like, now I'm just now doing that. So with the Antonio thing, uh, I could speak on that, but that showed me because I'm like, damn, I, I think I missed that. But I mean, it's not too late. But in my mind, I was thinking it's too late. But I'm thinking about even just like posting the clip and then after the clip, just have it like one side, the clip, and then the other side, me just talking. So uh, I have a platform to use for that. And that's what I plan to do for the hot topics, like different little things that happen, like breaking news, the baby and his baby mama going through domestic violence, you know, just stuff like that. Just on one yeah. side, the breaking news on the other side. me. So, um, I don't know, this is how my brain think, like, why can't we talk to him? I want you to talk to him yourself talk to, mm-hmm. to Antonio, you know get him on and your that's live why we got the show yes okay. thank you hey, hello now you now you on it yes so as you know time progress and not even just time because i'm pretty sure with the right pool i could get them to come on in so yeah. yeah i would love to have it like that and we and i think even with the live that's why i was thinking more so it's covid now so it's no need to really dump you know a budget into getting a building or getting a, a studio I'm just like, I thought about it. I was like, why wouldn't I just do lives? Because people are going to pull up on live, you know, but to get a person to really pull up and be on time and to, you know, sit through things, that'll be a little bit more tedious than just me. Okay, hey, you know, today I'm going live at this time. Let's get you in. Or even if oh, they don't agree to come in, I can get my fans to ask them, like, you know, let's bring them in so you can clear yourself, clear the record set the record straight and also have a session and we can get your point of view coming from a mental health standpoint yeah yeah. because people do things all the time and you never know what they're going through until they share that story so what you just saying that that kind of um that's the 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 goal the goal is to have celebrities come on to have you know other influencers come on whether it's uh people are in sports actors actress whoever just come on share your story and make it like Oprah Winfrey I always say that I, I always wanted to show before I uh, set this up the whole mental health thing I always said I wanted to show like Oprah Winfrey like ever since I was young I always said that like I want to do that because I think it's cool you know I don't know are you um because I mean I don't know, I'm about action, so I'm thinking about how. Yeah, you signed up with um, what's that website? I'm looking through one of my notebooks. Like it's a website that give you access to everybody PR, so you can actually talk to Antonio's PR person, get him on your live. Am I type signed up with what? I'm trying to. I'm trying to find a name. Hold up. But you're right, though. I I, I see because I have a podcast that I I have a podcast that was supposed that's supposed to be like a live TV show at the same time. But I don't know, since COVID, I kind of just haven't done it for real. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I really don't want to change the format of it, but I, I don't know if I, I think I might have to. Um, just in terms of like how you said, just going maybe virtual, because I did do some interviews like that before. Well, we just how did on, that go? 
Oh, I had one that we were done on the phone. It was good. It was a good interview. It's just not, I'm just not happy with it because I'm not in person. Like, I want to be in person and like but have it's my a good different. Start. I want to have my different camera angles. Like, I want it to be cool, you know? But the content is still the content, though. So, mm -hmm. like, people still love the content. I don't have my... mm -hmm. it's a build up and that's how I'm looking at it like start now yeah COVID is going on but COVID may not go anywhere so we got to just work with what we got right right just like yeah I get that that's what I said I'm about to my action too huh I said I'm about that action too so yeah I can't find my other note but hold up I'm gonna find it but yeah it's a website I'm thinking about that has everybody's agent and PR team I know I have it one of these notebooks. Um, and basically, like, you can reach out to them directly. Like, hey, I want Antonio on my Instagram page. I just want him to set the record straight or whatever, you know. I don't see it. I got to look for my other notebook. Sorry. I don't have no, take it. your time. Oh, cool. oh, you trying to get the um, website for the Asian? Yeah, yeah, PR. I was trying to say, yeah, I was trying to tell you the name of it. Um, because I forget the name of it right now. Because that website, like you, it's a you got to pay for it though. It's like um, I don't know, twenty dollars a month or something. Hmm, I'm pretty sure I can get some money about that. I know some people that probably got it. Or even a lot of um, them, they put their email, you know, their management information and their bios and stuff, so. I don't think NFL players do that. Oh, no, they don't. They don't. I don't think, <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, a lot of times, like, sports, I mean, most of us yeah. know that LeBron managed half of them, but outside of that, we don't know their agents. Mm-hmm. don't know their PR teams. I'm not sure if it's this notebook or not. I usually have. I'm getting reorganized. But anyway, um, is this it? Oh, this is the notebook. Agentlist.com. Agentlist.com. Yeah, this is it. Agentlist.com. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got that there. I'm going to have to go in there and look for it. What's his name? That's on the And then even after these lives and stuff, I can refer them to actual real life therapists. You know, like even in here, I know black therapists here in Atlanta, male therapists, and that's good for males to have that those male black therapists. Because I know when you go to the hospital or you go to see a psychologist and different, you know, even if it's probation, they always give you a list of therapists that they think you should go to. And most of them are in conjunction or affiliated in some way. And they don't be the best. You know, they're not suitable for everybody. They may see you somebody that's white with gray hair to be a therapist. And it's just like, y'all not, y'all may not be able to relate. So that Wait, could be another thing I can offer. You saying you about to become like a whole, like, um, no, that's not the right name. Agent, that's not right. Agent list is not correct. It's um, so I just tried to type it and it didn't work. So it's um, it's who represents. Who represents? Yeah, it's just, who represents. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I had to, I wanted to test it before. I'm like, hold up, that might not be right. It's about who represents. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the name of it. It's called who represents. Who represents. Okay. There you go. I think that's it. Let me double check one mm -hmm. more time. Yeah, so here you go. Yeah. Instant access of $12.99 a month. So their prices went down, look like. But mm -hmm. but yeah, $130 a year. But if you just want to do monthly, yeah, that price went down to $12.99. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's it. And you get access to these random people, the celebrity people. Cool. 
call it PR. Like you said, there are some people who do have this stuff in their bio. You're right. Um, so we like, we said Antonio. I spelled his name completely wrong. Yeah. I got him in here. I got a sports agent in here. So I'm not signed up, but <laughs> I'm just showing right. you like, I never mm -hmm. signed up for it, but I just know, I know about it. Most um, like celebrities and uh, athletes, they have those profiles. It just depends, you know. Public information. No, like whatever this database is, has the that person's agent or whatever listed. And oh, okay. they have like their per that person's email and contact. So I'm saying okay. you you may you won't find Antonio number on here, but you'll find his agent. Okay, cool. Yeah, like whoever it is. Like I said, I can't really show you live examples though, because I'm not signed up. But you got it. Yeah, so that these people have agents. Which is powerful because I'm I'm just saying it because we just did an event in DC and um we had what's her name on in at the venue. Um she was from the Real Housewives of Potomac um what's her name candace Wendy? no candace Cand okay candace dillard okay yeah i know candace well i don't know candace but i know who you talking about yeah yeah so like candace does everything through her agent everything mm -hmm. and like she's very reachable when you talk to her agent this this pr you know that they, they make everything happen Mm -hmm. management when they tell you they got a manager they make everything happen so that's that manager whoever that person is that's the pr mm -hmm. agency whoever that is you know but i'm saying because i know one of my partners reached out to the agency and we had her at the event and she hosted it and everything like that agent is powerful mm -hmm. you know she may not respond to no dms though but with the agent call her and say hey you get you gotta be at work friday she coming so that's what I mean. Like this, the agents that, got the power. Right. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I'm just saying in reference to your idea, A B, that's all. But um back to the original dialogue. I'm just trying to figure out where, where you need me to help you. That's all. Mm. I would say more so with content creating and I just really wanted to understand more so of uh, the different options, you know, just like the options that you gave me with the media and the sponsorship. This is a thing like I've talked to plenty of brand marketers, whatever, that's not they haven't been as professional as you or just, you know, be able to be as informative. But I've worked with them just on like, you know, how to build my followers, how certain things like that, which is just general questions. And um, it just, it, they wasn't clear enough or wasn't giving me the information that I was looking for. Like I said, like when it comes to social media, that's the area that I would like to have um, some type of assistance with. Okay. I mean, I feel so, like you got you have like one of those it factors when it comes to this stuff so that the branding part you being the face of your brand i think that's gonna be very easy you know mm -hmm. that part because you, you already you already started that you already started that i'm trying to say mm -hmm. so now you're just trying to start creating more consistent mm -hmm. um okay so with me i have a couple options i don't um so i have this content partnership that i do where mm -hmm. i i help you whether we do a photo shoot every month or we doing videos every month that's just something we do we meet every every month same time or whatever whatever our schedules permit and we create content um i do like i said photo shoots and then with that photo shoot 
will come with, you know, six edits. I'll give you all your mm -hmm. photos, though, from that photo shoot. If, I'm saying if you need pictures or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. This is an example of ed an edited image. Retouched or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, like some of these retouched images outside. So sometimes we inside. We did. This is one of my clients, Holly. She's a um, she's one of my partners as well. We she do a lot of makeup for my clients, but um, mm -hmm. for this particular shoot, we did this in her house. Um, I brought the backdrop, and we just did this in her living room or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, because sometimes it just it just was easier for her basically. But I have a studio mm -hmm. as well. But for her, it was easier like that. Um, we was outside for this particular event. I mean, photo shoot. Um, Real estate agents, so of course we could do visuals with the images too. Um, that's, yep, that's right there. I think photography is the main thing that I would need. It's, it's the, I love that type of content with the uh, pictures and the words and stuff. Yeah, just adding words to it. It's one of the pages I managed. All the pictures I took on that page. But um, this for um, uh what are they i want to say a lingerie line but they make clothing for exotic dancers and bathing suits and that's just one of their mm -hmm. so we have a partnership but yeah just like you, you always can add words to your images create little ads this is um i did this for a cleaning business that i owned at one time i just was making ads making mm -hmm. that stuff but like um, but yeah, that's just photos and then videos. It just depends on how elaborate you want to get with videos. I usually have a half day rate and a full day rate. Um, mm -hmm. And that's, that's basically how I do that. You know, it's a monthly. And I always encourage entrepreneurs to have a marketing budget just in general. Um, I have put a blog up on my site talking about how, um, where's my blog? Um, how your budget should be 12% of the revenue that you make, your marketing mm -hmm. budget. You know, so that's just assuming that you have consistent clientele, you would take 12% out of that money and put it back into your business or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, every month, just consistently have that budget set up for marketing. That's always encouraged. Because I, I know I meet a lot of businesses small business who don't have their marketing budget yet so I, that's why i wrote that blog just to encourage businesses to have it because it's it's very important because again we don't want to be hot one month and then disappear for the next right. six <laughs> you know we're trying to stay yeah, visible exactly. like so if we, we plan our content relevant. yeah you know stay relevant stay visible. We, we're planning to we already know how much money we're spending every month like I know my budget is this amount every month and I'm always going to have content. So that's the idea behind this is to help you stay visible. Um, that's a real nice picture right there too. You would never know that that was in the uh, later room. Yeah, because you you know, at a photo studio is essentially um, a backdrop. You know, I mean, I, I actually, I travel a lot and I, I do bring stuff with me. I have bunch of lights and equipment i have probably like on hand i think i have about seven different colors that i have on hand mm -hmm. that, I just, that i could just transport <laughs> like i think i got orange um yellow um white gray like just this random colors i feel like people use the most you know my my signature color is yellow so that's my brand color yellow is vibrant it's you know it's loud and it's just it's me it fits me so yellow is my color yeah that, that's a very and it's i think i had what was it, what is it it's on my i had it on my home page where like i talk about the color yellow and really? like and that like, could be a part of one of my content too i can i mean uh some of my content i could talk about why i use yellow you want to talk about that? No, you. What do you? You don't think I should talk about that? I don't know. Unless I guess it depends on um, who your audience is. Like, why would we talk about that with your particular audience? 
Right. Okay, I get you. You would I'm talk just about asking. that because of your brand. I get yeah, you. yeah. Like, yeah, I would talk about because I'm always I'm I'm encouraging brands to choose the right colors and make sure it resonates to whatever mission you're trying to create or whatever. So, but like here, I have this cheerful, promotes optimism. That's what yellow does. It's a happy color. Yeah. But um. I'm writing down some notes myself. And then this is the other, I had this other thing on my website where um, we do social media management um, where we actually can help you create the content and with social media management, of course, you can add a photo shoot every month as well. Mm -hmm. Or not, it's kind of set up like a la carte. But um, this is one of the graphics that the, I put this on here because the client didn't like it. So I'm like, well, I could use it for my website or whatever. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I just put it up here. They didn't like this design. But just this was a template created so she can just because she's a writer. She was supposed to mm -hmm. use this as a template for all her posts or whatever. That's but, cute. Where did you get that? You made that? Yes, but she didn't. She didn't like it. So it don't matter. But yeah, she didn't. <laughs> You can send that to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is yellow. <laughs> you I take, like that because I write. Take. I love writing. I'm a creative writer. Like that's another part of who I am. I make sure I include it too. I love to write, and even like you can see, I I usually I use Twitter. You know, I just post my little regular little Twitter quotes. Oh, but, Twitter! Twitter is yeah. hot. Twitter. Yeah, is that's hot. my template. Okay, Twitter is hot. You definitely. Um, I feel like. A lot of us leave money on the table on Twitter. Um, I know I don't mm -hmm. use it like that, but it's hot. But this is some examples of like how, um, you know, when you just creating a grid for your Instagram page or whatever, just and have a consistent look if you want. Yeah. And that's why I'm saying I'm trying to change minds because I had it. Well, I am going to change it. I'm changing it to more so verbal and vocal videos and reels because I know those reels, they hit the numbers. Of hit. I mean, th those numbers will help you with your following. So. Right, right. I, I feel like that's where we are now. Like, I mean, I, did you see the, I had posted, I don't know if I took it down or not. Oh, that's, it might still, and I think it's still up. I had posted on my Instagram the new updates to Instagram. Did you, mm -hmm. you, did you listen to him when he tells the updates? The, no, uh, I didn't see it. Oh, okay. Um, go on there and look. Like I had, I put it on my page as well. Like, but basically he was saying, I mean, I put the update on there before. Like he said, this, this is the head of Instagram. He was saying that Instagram is no longer a picture sharing app. You remember when he said that? Mm -hmm. So he basically came back out December 31st and was like, we doubling down. We are continually not to be a photo sharing app. And the videos is, is essentially the videos is everything. The reels are everything. Video. And mm -hmm. I think they I think they took away IGTV. So it's no like I don't think you can have those 10 minutes. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out, but I don't see IGTV anymore. Where I could post a 10 minute I think video. They do. Yes, because I try to do it today. I try to record and put up the video. The video I originally had was like three, four minutes, and it, it wouldn't let me. I said, I thought it, well, I, maybe they took away the IGTV because I, I remember posting something for like five minutes before. Yeah. Yeah, this is a vote. It's a video I put up on that because he was, um, that's what I basically was talking about then, where he he's basically saying, all right, we're no longer. We're still going to keep with the videos. They're going to have to be short videos, essentially. And he said the next thing they, is the focus is DMs. Mm -hmm. The focus is now direct messaging and videos. So if we're going to if we're going to play the Instagram game, this is how you play it. Mm -hmm. You got to do the reels and because Instagram will promote you if you follow yeah, in, well, you know, if so. you're following their new algorithm and this is it. Because, like he said last time, because TikTok and YouTube are blowing them out the water. 
So mm -hmm. they said, so we're copying them. <laughs> Instagram always following up. They don't play. As soon as a one website have a certain feature, they come with it. Like, yeah. Y'all not about to uh, open show up. Uh, overdo us because guess what tiktok I, and that's where i've been trying to put a lot of my content on too is tiktok tiktok because yeah those numbers look, right. is looking real good for my website and my brand i'm like ooh, you getting traffic so yeah, to the website from there from tiktok yeah okay yeah and so like link it that that's the you know pay attention to that you know you saw you see the waves and the waves shift or whatever like ride it because <laughs> mm -hmm. you know and and then you know it you don't have to pay for ads to accomplish that you just gotta make sure mm -hmm. we follow the waves exactly basically that's what I'm saying with Instagram like Instagram will work for you if you do what they want you to do which is yeah. be entertaining or be a source of information or be entertaining like, like it's, it's one of the and, other and even you youtube is the same way they got this thing called shorts so that's what i've been downloading like my video stuff on even the i haven't even put some some content i do i don't even put on instagram i put it on like youtube or tiktok but yeah instagram shorts those were good too everybody's into these short videos they don't want the long drawn out old school youtube videos where you listening for 20 minutes like uh uh they they've been wanting videos up under like five minutes well and i think that's probably why instagram took that down because i know i remember it was the igtv where you could do like 30 minutes right yeah you know, I, I, I was like? i tried to post a video the other day that's how i really know because i tried to post like a seven minute might have been a seven mm -hmm. minute video and i couldn't post it and so I put it on YouTube instead, but so YouTube is going to continue to be number one because of that. You know, mm -hmm. they're not, they don't restrict you on anything. Like, they, they, you want to post something, post it. You know, post it for five hours and that mother could be up there. Like, yeah. Right. That, that's why they number one. But Instagram, I'm just saying, as far as the Instagram algorithm, if you want to play the game, you are, I, I think the pictures, I, I feel some type of way about it, but. I don't think the pictures are going to help you stay in the traffic zone. That's I don't, true. I don't think it's going to help. Even though I still, I'm still seeing people's pictures get a lot of, lot of traffic though. So it's, I'm kind of confused about that part. Like, are pictures relevant or not? Like, because <laughs> I'm seeing mm -hmm. some people, they're you know they're creating a lot of, they still posting the random thirst trap pictures and they working. I'm like, I mm -hmm. thought we was done with pictures. So. You no, you you are absolutely right about that. Cause the, the pictures, I mean, they cool. That's why I said not this year I'm going all total videos and vocal. I'm using my voice, and I feel like when you use your voice, you're way more powerful than just posting certain things. Like I, I, I made an impression with my my uh, like I'll do these weekly little messages. Yeah, that was cool. But I feel like people would have really supported it and this with it a little bit heavier if I was on there and I was actually showing my face and speaking. And so I'm like, I don't even, I don't know why I was just like shying away from that. But I'm like, let me go on here and, and show my face and show people that it's more, because I can post a picture and just be sitting there cute and stuff. But it's like to even be able to just post a nice picture or and to speak intelli intelligently that says a lot too so it's just like it's not, everybody else on here doing it ignorant people that don't know what the hell they talking about don't have no type of skills and training they doing it right so the people with this with the skills that really do this and live this this is our time to really be like really taking over like get out the way y'all don't know what y'all talking about y'all just on here just trying to thirst trap and y'all want attention y'all not doing nothing to change the world y'all really fucking the world up really y'all need to be quiet so maybe those people need to go to back to pictures and the professionals and the people that's really out here and that's standing for something. We need to speak. You know, we need to use our voice and use our platform to put out this positivity and put out the love and motivation in the world. Because the world is woo. It's, it's fucked up. Hey, you know, that that's a, that sound like that could be your intro video. You saying that like, I mean, it's it's, you know, those are fighting words, but you know, 
people love. I'm saying it. Okay, <laughs> that could be another for content. Like people who you know? are, you know, the, the positive people, the leaders, and the people who are really skilled and trained in certain areas need to be the ones who are speaking and the ones who are not really need to be the ones that's being quiet and maybe just posting the picture, laying low and learning because that's how the world is just unraveling now because all of the inf- new influencers that's coming up, they ignorant kind of, you know, and I'm not saying it like that. It's not, now I'm not going to say all of them, but some majority of them are, they not, I don't know. Maybe I, I don't just be riding waves like that. You got to yeah. really impress me for me to be like, oh, okay. She is, you know, or he did. But at least people, they just, they see the power of them. They use now. I'm not knocking it, you know, but the internet is just powerful, man. That's, I'm saying that's a, that's, that's a powerful, um, those are powerful words. I think, you know, you should say that. <laughs> I will. You know, I will. I will. I you know, like just be like you know what, I ain't being quiet no more. Like just say, <laughs> right? I will. I will be a rem- um, reminder for that. Let me put that right in my notes. That could definitely. About- that's a video day. <laughs> like I am here, you know. Like and I'm here. I don't apologize. So y'all get out the way. Whatever you know. How are you gonna verbalize it? But mm-hmm. like, Tierra is here. And I have something to say. Like, Look, <laughs> you, you behind it. You got. Know, have your for that. that was good. That was good stuff. Like you know, no, but um, even you, like even how you do your marketing, it's a lot of. I'm telling you, they scam artists. They just fake, acting like they do certain things and they don't do it. But it's like, if you really do it, those are the people who are kind of like you know they put we putting out little content here and there. But it's just like it's not as vocal as it should be to really overpower the ignorance. Yeah, I get it. So yeah, yeah that's good. That's what says five. No, no, I said I, I, I don't want to fight no, no, <laughs> I, I'm that's saying why be, that's why I be quiet. It's you powerful. Be it's powerful, and the only way I say it's fighting words because it's those are those are controversial controversial phrases. At the same time, what else? What else are we supposed truth. to do? Yeah, that's what we're supposed right. to do with, with it. It's, it's a controversial thing that can very well be the recipe for your next 200,000 views, you know? So I wouldn't be scared. Mm-hmm. Don't, you don't got to be scared to say it again. That's all I'm saying. That's good. Okay. That's good it's stuff. Coming to a, it's coming to a screen near you. <laughs> that was good, for <laughs> real. That was good, because it, it, it's very true. You, you didn't say anything wrong. That was good, you know, for real. Because, like, I, you're right. I've seen it. You see a lot of, yeah, you see a lot of nonsense. So mm-hmm. that's accurate. And there's no way to go, like, to shy away from it. I was just watching, um, I was just going down my timeline yesterday and I saw a girl, she is like the corona um, viral sensation. She's going around licking toilets. Toilet seats. And, and people looking at her. Numbers going crazy. I'm like, yeah. now you about to have somebody's baby girl out here looking to the food. So, so now, so let me tell you the recipe for viral, right? So the recipe of going viral, the, is one, one strategy is called the remix strategy, right? Mm-hmm. The remix strategy is when you take something that is viral and you borrow it and put your twist on it. Mm-hmm. So, okay, if that's what, what you saw, that's viral. So now what Tierra's gonna do is take that clip of this mm-hmm. licking of the toilet and now you're gonna appear afterwards and you're gonna address it like from a mental whatever, you know, exactly. like and you I you speak you on it, you know, and that's what we've seen is lo- a lot of those videos go viral too, because it's the remix mm-hmm. strategy. Or even doing, I'm not telling you to do that at all, but like when people do those challenges. To copy that person, oh, we doing? Oh, it's the licking the toilet challenge. Okay, and you start doing it too, but somehow putting your twist on that. That's all I'm saying. You know, I'm not about to be licking old toilet. I know you're not. I know you're not. <laughs> but you know, I'm just saying, like that's the remake strategy. But like, I get, oh. I get what you're saying as far as like the recipe to go and viral. It's, you got to do some crazy, insane things, or either be the person that's talking about it. Right. Like just address it. Like, okay, mm-hmm. I see 
this is considered cool now. Let's address it. Like, mm -hmm. what does Tierra have to say about that? You know, and, mm -hmm. and I'm sure it's too many. That's how I'm you build a fan. Is that how you build basically like the um, your fan base or people who are in tune and want to know what you have to say? Yeah. Yeah, just like how some people built a, um, this is built audiences off of a few things. Like, what's the dude's, uh, for, it's just it's two comedians that would do, will redo all of the versus challenges. Every time a versus mm -hmm. came out, they would do a comedic relief of the verses. And, oh, my goodness. <laughs> And it was always hilarious, but like, I, I, I tuned in probably like three times and I, I think I was done with them after that. But um, but like they were the, the verses had would have just went off and literally mm -hmm. like five minutes later, they were reenacting it like instantly. Mm -hmm. So just and, you know, especially it was one of those famous if it was like a two million day on versus and you know a lot of people mm -hmm. watching it it's, so it's going to be a hot topic for the next three days or whatever you know mm -hmm. just taking the like how you brought up antonio brown viral okay i gotta say something so anyway that that is the um, in marketing they call it the remix strategy though that's okay, remix. i'll remix. make sure i keep that in mind yeah yeah so okay. um but yeah like i'm I, but as far as video like you say a picture is worth a thousand words right mm -hmm. um but a video is worth 1.8 million words you know and as uh, essentially saying videos are way more powerful we can see the expression we can see the skin tone we can see you know it's just different mm -hmm. um like i sent somebody a video the other day and their response was like i felt like i was there you know, mm -hmm. and I thought that was really it just I put that in the back of my head like wow that's the era we in like it the videos make it real. A mm -hmm. video makes it like oh she's talking to me like she's in my living room like she's having so versus the picture it's powerful, but it's not as powerful as you know, so I definitely would emphasize the videos in this season. Mm -hmm. And said, you know, I'm just, I'm agreeing with you, basically. Because that's the, that's the whole, that's, that's the new trend. Like, that's the wave of the videos. Those yeah. pictures is becoming a little old school. I mean, basically what you're trying to say. I, I mean, I can't say that because I take pictures. So I can't say that. But, um. <laughs> no, right. As a photographer, I can't you say, that. say that. No, but no, but no, for real, though. It's, it's real. Yeah, it's the, the video world. Unless has taken I feel like, unless it's a professional picture. Now, photography is different from me just seeing you taking a selfie. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think you can never go wrong with professional pics. Yeah, they Fires, have their place. You know, yeah, they, they have their place. Like, all your billboards, they ain't going nowhere. You know, like when someone lands on your website you know and mm -hmm. like it's a still image is gonna that's why i said it's still worth a, it's um worth a thousand words still um mm -hmm. like when i do photography i try to plan my photography sessions from beginning to end like we're gonna start out with a mood board like we got a mission to accomplish like it's not just show up and take a picture we didn't we didn't talked about mm -hmm. it already you know we know who the target audience is, what message we're trying to get out of this image, you know, what's the reaction I want from this image. Like in branding, that's that's we're thinking about all that before we take that picture. The selfie is more spontaneous. Right. If you just feeling like that in that moment, you may need to just insert that somewhere in there. I mean, I, but I feel like the selfies are very, very, um, uh, what, what's the word I want to say? Personal. Selfies are mm -hmm. very personal. Um, and that's where it comes in handy in your, in your stories. Mm -hmm. Anything personal is like in the stories. I feel like your page is for the brand, you know? Um, mm -hmm. Your page should be like a funnel that drives people to do something specific. You yeah. Know, like, I see your content on your page. I want to, I'm motivated to, I don't know, get a checkup now, whatever, like mm -hmm. call to action, make me do something as a result. You say now think positive as a result, whatever it is, 
but I feel like the stories is the part where we're we're letting people into our lives and showing mm-hmm. them that we're human, you know, humanize the brain. So that's true. Yeah, that's definitely true. You know, because I'm saying it because sometimes I see selfies on people's pages and it's not really well thought out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, unless it's some because I know um, a company paid me one time to post a selfie um because they wanted me to promote a political candidate so they paid me like um i don't know like 150 dollars for one picture just to post Mm -hmm. a picture and put a caption under it they was like just Mm -hmm. say something about the environment or whatever they wanted to talk about like okay whatever um Mm -hmm. so selfies and, and why because they know that's personal a selfie has that personal touch versus yeah. getting a photo shoot. So it has its place. It has its place. But anyway, so I'm sure I showed you my um what I was saying, the the Yeah, you show me your markdown and I make sure that I, uh I'm gonna go on your website. Yep. Um, and then it's, if we just need videos, like I do have a separate section. How I've been doing it is like half day rate for this rate should be updated actually. Part of it. So I, I should update this, should be more, but um, but yes, full day versus half day rates. Okay. $7.50 for half a day, you know, or a full day. Like so, but again, full day means we we planning. We that means we got content for a long time mm-hmm. pretty much and where are you at you in north carolina oh no uh, my name where is Rob. You? no I'm, I'm in virginia i'm in virginia. virginia yeah i'm in virginia i asked you that how far how, what, what part of virginia richmond richmond area oh, okay Ooh. Yeah, so, yeah like um like i said like i told you before though like i if i need to come to atlanta i will like atlanta is a really cool place to me so i've been there um i've done content there not issue okay. but like but if you feel like traveling to virginia we could do that too like either way literally i'll come out there if you want me to come out there. Uh-huh. i will i don't see out to virginia a couple times a week so you say you've been I to will. virginia mm-hmm. I think it's Virginia, but I think it was West Virginia. West Virginia in the mountains somewhere. Yeah, it was. That's exactly where it looked. It looked just like mountains. Yeah, West Virginia, a whole other state. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's a different state. So you in Richmond? You were um, Chris Brown is from. Um. Yeah, he's from. Well, it's like maybe thirty minutes. 25 30 minutes okay from, yeah but tappahannock where he from yeah so how do you get all the way to new york i met you in new york then. yeah like, new york. i travel yeah yeah I you travel. part you on the team you on the ymd team i just did some pictures for them that day and i know they want me to do some more pictures for them well i think they canceled their tour though so i'm not sure what's happening mm-hmm. now i haven't gotten an update yet as far as mm-hmm. that, but I, I did. Well, if you come back to Atlanta, we don't have to work. Yeah, like I said, um, I well, I thought about coming out there a couple of weeks ago, but I, I didn't. But yeah, it's nothing. It's traveling. Just a matter, as long as it makes sense, I definitely travel. I don't know what that means. Like, it gotta make sense. If I can get multiple things done or whatever, it just gotta make sense. Like especially, I know exactly what that means. yeah. If it's a content day, yeah, I come out there. Okay, well, thank you so much. I'm gonna get off of here because my phone about to buzz away. But you know exactly what that <laughs> means. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? No, you about your bag, shoot. If it makes sense, if it make money, it makes sense, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, just make it make sense. Um, day. No, like. This is what I do though. That I don't have. Um, this is my main business. This is all I do. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. This is all I've been doing. Actually, I was. I have to do one of those ten year. You know, I've been simply doing the ten year. 
post it. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah. so I, I have to put that together because I've been doing this for 10 years. So I got to um, wow. post one of those today. I, I have found me a 10 year old video and I, I will have to edit it and try to, I got to figure out what the challenge is, but I'm just going to do something showing 10 years. Wow. I think you're supposed to show a before and after, whatever it is. I saw somebody do like a 10 year old. I seen somebody do like a progress and then I seen one person like a before and after. So I'm I've been that. trying to uh, find my old pictures. <laughs> you gonna have to dig them up somewhere like hey. Well, I'm pretty sure you get all type of pictures. Pictures? No, I don't really take a lot of pictures. I really don't. I no, should. Okay. I should. I mean you I like ever take professional pictures for yourself? Yeah, I did I did a photo shoot last year for me okay yeah i did a brand shoot and you're supposed to do it every year every year don't let me hold you up though you say your phone dead yeah it is i'm on eight percent okay but no um definitely thanks for for tapping in i wanted to definitely hear you out see what you were talking about of course of course, because I see you've been down, you've been, you know, giving me feedback and just kind of like, you know, along the way, giving different type of pointers. So I'm like, let me see exactly what he's talking about. So we can kind of, you know, come together and see exactly where can we meet. So I, I've got a full understanding of your brand and now you got a full understanding of my brand. Yeah. And now we know. Yeah, definitely. And also, I want to do a video soon for me. Maybe you can be a part of it. Like, I want to do a content, some content for myself, where I want mm -hmm. to, do a, I want to do a video that shows the benefits or in the value of photos and video. Mm -hmm. Um. So, like, just maybe some talking points, like, um, how you noticed it helped helped your brand in some way. A, a picture mm -hmm. a photo shoot helped your brand how and just talk about that you know um in a video how did that help your brand i want to do a video like that soon okay that's cool i'll do that i definitely will okay yeah um if if you willing to yeah be in that video i i, I can make a trip i want to um like I said, i'm just trying to do some content for myself Cause I spend a lot of energy on other people's brains or whatever, so I'm like, I need content for me. So, yes, yes. This is exactly what I said. This is the year, and I'm gonna speak that in existence for you too. This is just the year where you just bet on yourself, you know, and trying to like becoming that household name and just expanding your brand completely out there, like blossom, let it blossom, you know. So. That's the year for all of us. If we on the same page, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good stuff. Yeah, I definitely. I got great respect for what you do. Um, I, I appreciate your life. Stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. Stay visible. Um, think strategic. You know. Mm -hmm. Think less spontaneous, more strategic. You know. The spon like I said, the spontaneous stuff is the, the new things that come out. Like you said, the A B story, like that's just spontaneous. But the other stuff we plan, we're trying to plan it in advance. Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, or whatever, just have it planned out. Mm -hmm. That's that's my yeah. encouragement. That's a great point right there. Thank you so much. Valley marketing.